uh, this is the first video that I will talk in English in this channel and it will be it will be about the AWS Lex and Amplify interactions. Uh, I will cover those services and uh, we will make an example and how we will see how uh, the AWS Lex chatbot um, can be used for any websites. Um, in this video, we will cover uh, the Amplify interactions for the UI components tab. You can go to the interactions part and you can see the chatbot uh, installation and how we use this component and the properties of this component. We will be covered all of them and we will use Vue 2. Uh, if you use Vue 3, this is the uh, different part of the uh, use configuration and there is a different um, library that will be installed. Let's see Amazon Lex. Uh, it's a simple chatbot uh, services and it will use the Alexa's uh, natural language processing model. Um, let's stop coding. I open the terminal and I go my desktop and if you don't have a uh, view CLI, you can install it like npm install the global at view slash CLI. If you have that, you don't need to do that. And you can use view, uh, view version to see your version of view CLI. Um, mine is the 4.0.5. And we can create the uh, simple template with we create, let's say, chatbot um, YouTube. And it will be ask me uh, a pick uh, preset for default or manually. I set manually and uh, for this is for the linter because I will use ESLint and Pretier. Linton save and in dedicated config.js file. It will ask the, uh, that preset for the future projects. I say no. And the chatbot YouTube comes here. And we will open this with VS Code. Uh, I'm opening my VS Code now and share with you. After the installation, we will, we can go the a folder and we can start coding. It will take a minute. Yes, it's created and we can go then with like that and npm run serve. It starts the uh, our project on localhost. Uh, 8080. We can open it and we can see the basic parts of the project. Um, we can open it with VS Code like Chatbot YouTube. And here's our project simple app.view and a simple component like Hello World. It's that but we don't need them and so I will delete the hello world component in here and also from components part also I didn't uh, I don't need to import it anymore so we can write hello here and let's open a terminal in here too and see what our page looks like uh, you see, as you can see, just hello uh, type is here and we can start the npm install AWS, AWS amplify and AWS amplify slash UI. We, we, we need to install that uh, for use amplifies. Um, API or authentication or interactions 
and we need to use the Amplify UI view because uh, we need to uh, we want to use the component that already created for Amplify. Mm. This component has some props uh, like bot name, bot title, welcome message, and like clear on complete. Uh, I will cover them a bit later. But first, it has to be installed. And uh, if you're new to the AWS, and if you have not any AWS account, you can create it uh, with freely for 12 months. Uh, AWS uh, is, has a services like free uh, templates you can use. After the installation, we will add the uh, interactions and we will, we have to uh, import AWS Amplify and AWS Amplify UI view in our main.js file for like import Amplify from AWS Amplify and import the AWS uh, amplify amplify slash UI view as I said before this for the uh, amplified chatbot uh, component that we can use and after the installation done we need to uh, say amplify init for the AWS uh, exports configuration and amplify folder because uh, whatever we will create with amplify it will be uh, stored in the amplify folder i will show that a bit later to you and those are can be like that in a comment Maybe I will cut those scans and here we go. Our installation is done and now I set amplify init. Uh, the amplify init command will create an amplify folder in here and AWS export uh, file in here. These exports uh, maintain our uh, console uh, configurations and we will say the amplify that use uh, those configurations uh, with it here uh, asking a project name chatbot YouTube is fine sorry and the environment is dev uh, asking my IDE and asking my uh, language let's say JavaScript and framework view uh, a path for source, a path for directory distribution, and npm run build for my build command, and npm run serve for my start command. And it will ask my Amplify uh, username, AWS uh, username. Uh, do you have any profile? Do you want to use any AWS profile? It asked. And I said yes. And my user. Uh, if you don't have any user in here, uh, after the uh, npm install uh, AWS Amplify CLI, you need to firstly uh, install it and then you need to uh, type Amplify configure with this configuration. Uh, you can create a user with IAM management, identity and access management services. And it will take a little bit uh time in here also but i will show the amplify folder in here and the aws exports file in here as you can see amplify come here and for now it's empty uh, but when i add the interactions uh in here uh, i mean when I add the interactions with Amplify Add, it will be shown 
it will be seen in here and the AWS exports part uh, will have more configuration too. Let's uh, write in here. As you can see, I said I import Amplify from AWS Amplify and I am saying my Amplify to configure with uh, AWS exports and it will become from import AWS exports from dot slash my AWS exports. It's done. Uh, we don't need anything for main.js and our AWS exports because it will be uh, fulfilled for uh, easily and uh, basically we don't need to anything any we don't need to write anything in here because it will be filled by automatically and I will add my amplify add interactions my interactions with uh, amplify add interactions command and it says using service legs and they provide a friendly name they ask me it doesn't matter what is the name let's say let's keep it what it is and we can start from scratch or start with a sample uh, chatbot style. We will start with a sample and a book trip. And it's asking these bots have any children's privacy uh, protection subject, but we don't need any children's privacy uh, subject and or we, didn't, we will not ask any privacy uh, privacy topic. And I said no, and it's okay. But uh, after the uh, after using the AWS legs, it was here before. But we will take the new one for we need we need to amplify push. We need to type amplify push and hit enter. So with this uh, way, our newly uh, chatbot will come here to AWS console and I will see okay in here uh, it said uh, a new out category and any interactions category will create it uh, do you want to continue I said yes and this services push the console Let's stop it and start it again. So it has not to be a, an error in here, in this position, I believe. Yes, it will work, okay. It will work fine. And it will take a minute also, but after that I will show how to use AWS legs in a few seconds. I know it's boring, but we need to wait, guys. But maybe I will crop those scans for the waiting time uh less waiting time for you all okay it's done i will refresh the page so it's it seems updated in here because um we have one before but i will open this And it comes. Um, there is two intents in here. We don't need to book hotel, and I remove it. Uh, let's start. Uh, this is a simple chatbot service, guys. And the sample utterances, it's uh, like uh, the main, the first sentence that you need to uh, say the chatbot with a start, with start a conversation. 
with it. So let's um, let's say I want to book a car for my trip. We will add this, and th those are the uh, slots that uh, our chatbots uh, asking question simultaneously with uh, to our user. And I want to add a driver name here. A driver name. Uh, it's a first name type, and our chatbot can ask our user to what is the driver name and we can add here and the to the second question that i want to ask i want to my uh, chatbot to ask my user is a uh, driver last name and it's a simple last name type and the question is the sorry about it what is the driver last name and we will add this but as you can see the first question that my chatbot will ask my uh, clients is the city in what city do you want need to rent a car but as i said i want the driver name will be the first question that uh, on my slots uh, and this required part is the uh, my chatbot asked the client the question, but my client does not require to uh, answer the uh, question. If I said, if I checked it, it has to be answered. So we will uh, be answered for all questions from the client. And I will uh, take the driver name for the first slot. So I want to be let it i want to be uh, my chatbot the uh, questions first questions is what is the driver name and my last name uh, is the second question and my age is the third question now so uh, we, it will start with the simple uh, basic sentence let's let you think uh, you write a you write book a car and then the chatbot will ask this question simultaneously to you uh, and also the slot types that we have in here and we can simply uh, create or edit a slot type in here let's uh, think the chatbot ask a question and it needs to some type of the answers and standard full size mid size luxury and economy or minimum is the answer from the uh, our users we can as i said we can add any type in here and we can after the conversation then we can uh, trigger a aws lambda function for uh, writing the uh, answers to the our dynamo db table or we can easily return a parameters to client and we can add a response in here and we can say thank you um, your book has been successfully completed and we can smile our client and save intent we can say after that we can take the build button and click it and start the build uh, it will take any seconds and after that we can test our chatbot in here um, but it has to be built first And after that, we will um, import the Amplified Chatbot component to our project and add these uh, scripts uh, for our mounted uh, cycle and for before unmount cycle and a function to handle chat complete. As I say, if we 
want to create a, or trigger a lambda function after the uh, chatbot's done, after the chat done, uh, we can uh, write our function in here uh, with this, with trigger with the, this data, and we can uh, save it our DynamoDB table. Let's see our build is yes. Uh, let's see book trip dev uh, build was successful. So we can uh, write here. I want to book a car for my trip, and it ask to do our name. So our name is, I mean, my name is Emre, and my surname is Ihan, and I'm 27, and I need it to let's say New York and uh, what time do you want to start your rental it asks us and we can say three days later so the legs uh, understand uh, what we write and uh, for the time uh, for the date type uh, it can complete the take this Take the time of now and it can add uh, three days to this day, to today, and it asks to return. Let's say we rent this car for one week and after 10 days, 10 days later, we will return the car. And the type it asks, we can say luxury. And it say okay I have you done for the luxury rental in New York from uh, 2021 and 216 to 2021 to 23 should I book the reservation it says we can say of course and the response that we will uh, create here uh, it will return in here thank you your book has been successfully completed let's say it let's see it in the uh, view project uh, as I said before, we will take this um, Amplified Chatbot component to our project in here. And it says, let's see, uh, bot, your bot name does not exist because uh, it our bot name is now your bot, bot name, but we need to take the AWS Lex bot name we created. It's book trip there. If I can take this one, uh, yeah. And then uh, we will, if we will, the book trip boot name like book book trip dev that we created. The uh, the error has gone, and our we can uh, give a name to our chatbot. Let's my chatbot to the EA for my first name and last name first letters and you can see here and hello how can i help you uh, is a welcome message we can write our name or uh, our username if you want to here so let's think uh, that your users uh, authenticate to your project and you can store the, your username and you can easily write here to your username with dollars and and here you can see your username but we cannot authenticate it and we can write simply our name in here and it shows here hello emre how can i help you and if i here book a car if i write here a book a car he can start the, uh, asking the question but after before it uh, I will show you the mounted and unmounted uh, cycles. Those for uh, when mounted cycle, uh, I take my um, component with query selector and I will add a listener uh, to my component if chat completed, triggered, or uh, Yes, chat completed triggered my this my handle com, handle chat complete function uh, will be uh, triggered also 
uh, and we can easily create a uh, write our methods handle chat complete for in our methods uh, let's say handle chat complete and it's take an event and in this event we have our data or maybe our an error in the detail uh, if error comes uh, we can alert we can alert the error uh, and if data comes we can alert the data like a success message and data but we need to stringify it before showing our user and it's okay and in this in here we can also trigger our uh, lambda function to uh, write the answers that we can get from user and store it on the DynamoDB. Let's see. And also a clear chat complaint that I say before. Yeah, this one. If I said is true, true, of course, like that. And let's start book a car. And it asks us to our driver name and we can write our name our surname and our age and the city that we want to rent it and the start time for let's say one week later and the return time for let's say two weeks later and the uh, type of the car is, as I say, luxury. And it uh, it con con it calculate the time that today is uh, 13 of February, and it add one week to them, and it says 20, and it add two week to 13 of February, and it says. 27 uh, and it asks to should I book the reservation we can say as we want yes of course let's say and the alert has been triggered like the car type the driver age the driver last name normal first name uh, pickup city pickup date and return date uh, and I when I said okay the clear one complete props has been uh, worked very well uh, this is it guys it is the first time that I uh, talk English in the channel and it is the first video uh, that I talk English uh, I hope it will be uh, understandable and educational uh, for you who is watching that uh, that's all uh, uh, we will see each other in the next videos uh, have a nice weekend.